Well, if you're watching this movie, it probably means that we've gotten to the part of the semester that I like the best. And that is when we start doing stuff that is interactive. In other words, the user becomes more involved in your site by rolling over things and even sound effects are possible. So what this video is going to show you is how to do uh, rollover images, which actually Dreamweaver generates uh, JavaScript for you, stuff that would be very complicated to write on your own, and Dreamweaver just kind of does it for you. Thank you very much. The place you want to start, though, is in Photoshop or Illustrator, and you want to create all the different states for your Java rollover. Now, our images are just going to have two states. That's going to be the normal state and the over state. And over or rollover or hover, they all mean the same thing. The, the user's mouse is over an image, and when it's over that image, it will change to a different image. Now, there are also remote rollovers, which we'll, we'll cover later in the semester. Uh, these are kind of self-contained. So let me show you my Photoshop file. Uh, the size of this image is 600 by 200. This has four layers, uh, so I have two different states for two different uh, images. So this is uh, one state, the normal state, and then if I click on this layer, you'll see what will happen when the user rolls over it. And then here's the second image, and the same thing will happen. So I've already made my save for web images and put them into the images folder. Um, so let's go over to Dreamweaver now. Same file we worked on in the previous movie, and we're really going to do pretty much the same thing. Uh, the only difference is that instead of inserting images, we're going to be inserting rollover images. So I'm just going to forego all the preamble about clicking in the boxes and stuff like that. I really think it's easier just to click right into the code to make sure that you're inserting your image, or in this case, rollover into the correct box. So I'm going to click between the open and closing divs for the pick one, and then go over here to the insert window again. And so if you click on the little black arrow, if you remember from before, there are three choices. This time we want the second choice for rollover image. So I'm going to select that. And that will bring up a window that's a little different from the last one. Because we have more information to tell Dreamweaver, it's requiring more input from us. So the first thing I always do is give my rollover image a name. So I'm just going to call this BWIs. And then the original image and the rollover image. And so if I just click on the Browse button next to Original Image, that will again take me to the window and I can navigate to the file I want to use. So that's BWI's Normal. And then now do the same thing for rollover image. And choose the image I've created for over. Now, we've talked about alternate text in class. The same thing applies here. You can supply alternate text for the browser to read. Um, and you can also give this a link either here or you can do that later in the properties window. So for now, I'm going to just leave those blank oh. and click OK. All right, so before we put in the next image, I'd like you to look at the code. In fact, let's just switch to code view because uh, Dreamweaver added quite a bit here. For sure. So if you go up to the top of the file, so there's our CSS rules, so we're in the head now, and right under that, uh, Dreamweaver has added a script element. Inside of that script element, this is all JavaScript. So you can see that this is nothing you want to write. No. It's certainly nothing I want to write. And this is what's allowing uh, the browser to create this interactivity between your site and their experience. I go down here, and the information in here is, is really not too much different than it would be if it were just a regular image. It's just information for both the normal image and the rollover image. Okay, so let's go back to split view, and uh, let's get that second image in there. Yes, dear. So this time I'll just click uh, between the pick two, open and closing tags, and do the same thing. Okay, browse to the normal image, browse to the over image, click OK, save our file, and then preview, and uh, we'll use Firefox again. And there you go. Now, if you roll over this, 
This time we'll see something a little different. So I don't know if this is cool or creepy. Uh, you can tell me in class what you think, but I kind of wish there was a whole page of these doing this. Maybe I'm just weird.